So before I get into today's video, I quickly wanted to take this moment to say a huge thank you for all of the love and support on my pregnancy announcement. Actually, today is the day that I officially posted on my social media that I am pregnant with baby number two. So I have been feeling overwhelmed with emotion and I was an absolute nervous wreck when I was posting those videos and even though I feel relieved that finally my secret is out and I can just enjoy the rest of the pregnancy and not have to live in hiding anymore it just makes it feel so much more real now that everyone knows which can feel really scary but I really want to try to focus on the good I truly feel so blessed and grateful to be able to experience this for the second time being a mom makes me happier than anything in the world and it's something that truly gives me so much joy in my life and it has honestly changed me in the best way possible so I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the love it really really means a lot to me and I know you guys have so many questions and want to know more and I will share more as I feel comfortable doing so you have to understand that this is something that's very personal and private to me and I'm actually a very very private person I know a lot of you might not know that because this part of my job is to be so present on social media but there's so many things that I don't talk about on social media and I like to keep in my private life and I like to keep my social media world and my personal life kind of separated I'm sure a lot of you understand that and I really appreciate your understanding and patience with me I also know that a lot of you are also going through a similar journey whether you are currently pregnant or trying to conceive and you guys know that for me fitness and health has always been kind of at the forefront of the things that I talk about and mention on my channel especially during pregnancy I think fitness and health is so so important this is a time that your body is going through so many different changes which is why taking care of yourself physically mentally nutritionally is not only going to help support all of these changes that your body is going through but it's also going to help you feel your best during pregnancy and prepare you for a healthy delivery and postpartum so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the things that I have personally been doing to help me feel my most fit and healthy self during pregnancy so I want to admit that this pregnancy for me has been harder than my first pregnancy. I was feeling sick for much longer during this pregnancy than with my first. When I was pregnant with my daughter, I was feeling sick the entire first trimester and only started to feel better around weeks 13, 14. And then I felt like I had my energy back in second trimester and I was able to be super productive and do all of these things that I wanted to do during first trimester when I couldn't. With this pregnancy, I was feeling really sick up until about week 17. And even now, I'm 20 weeks pregnant, I still feel little spurts of nausea here and there sporadically. It comes at random times for no reason whatsoever. And I still don't feel like I got my full energy back. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm running after a toddler all day long or I really don't know what the reason is I know that every pregnancy is different and that's one of the reasons why supporting this pregnancy is so so important to me because I want to make sure that I'm feeling my best self so I can take care of the people around me so the first thing that I wanted to talk about that I think is so imperative especially during pregnancy is having good supplements so obviously having a good prenatal vitamin is so so important a lot of doctors actually recommend recommend starting to take a prenatal several months before trying to conceive. I kind of never stopped taking my prenatals because I was breastfeeding for a year and a half and then after I stopped breastfeeding I knew that getting pregnant in the near future was something that I really wanted so I just continued to take my prenatal vitamin throughout nursing my daughter and also postpartum and the prenatal that I have been taking and really enjoying is by Pure and 
encapsulations. I take it two times a day, one capsule in the morning and one capsule in the afternoon after food. It doesn't make me feel nauseous and I really, really enjoy it. My naturopath recommended this to me. My naturopath recommended all the supplements I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video. So they are approved by a medical professional, but I do wanna put out a disclaimer that I am not a medical professional and what's right for me may not be right for you. So please keep that in mind and always, always do your own research and get your own opinions. I'm just sharing with you what I have been doing and what's been working for me and what's been recommended to me. In addition to my prenatal, I also take the L5 methyl etrahydrofolate. This is the long scientific word for folic acid and this is a different type of form of folic acid. It's L-methyl folate. So apparently this type of folic acid gets absorbed by your body a lot more effectively than other forms of folic acid. So I also take this twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon with food. And this helps with healthy brain development. It prevents miscarriages and it just helps promote healthy development of your baby in general. The next supplement that I take is a plant-based omega-3 supplement. This is DHA and EPA, which is so important for brain development and so many other things that your baby needs. This is also super important if you don't eat fish or don't eat a lot of fish during pregnancy. This is also a great option if you're vegan or vegetarian because this is completely plant-based from algae and this also helps support healthy pregnancy and healthy baby development and I really, really love this one. Next is spirulina. I think that this is so, so, so important. Spirulina is not only good for reducing inflammation and it's a really potent antioxidant, but it is also an excellent source of iron. And I thought that this fact was really cool. A lot of the iron that you consume during pregnancy is stored in your breast milk. And if you're breastfeeding after birth, your baby gets these iron stores for the first six months of its life through your breast milk, which is amazing and so, so, so important. That's why I swear by this and I take this every single day as well. You do have to take quite a bit of it, but I feel like these tablets are so small that it doesn't really affect me. I take four tablets in the morning and four in the afternoon with food. So I basically take all of my supplements twice a day and I just separate them morning and afternoon. So with this pregnancy, I had a bunch of symptoms that I never had with my first pregnancy. When I first found out that I was pregnant, I stopped taking pretty much all of the supplements that I was taking aside from my prenatal and the folic acid because I wanted to wait until I talked to my naturopath about the supplements that I was taking just so she can look over the ingredients and make sure that everything is pregnancy safe and just in case she needed to make any modifications in my supplement routine and I had to wait a week until this appointment with her so for that one week I wasn't taking any supplements aside from my prenatal and folic acid and one of the supplements that I dropped for that week was my daily prebiotic and probiotic from Seed. You guys know that I've been talking about this supplement for a long, long time. I've taken so many different probiotic or prebiotic supplements in the past and nothing compares to this. I honestly see the biggest difference when taking this. But for that one week that I didn't take it, I suffered like the worst gas pains. I never experienced that with my daughter. It was like every single day in the evening time after after dinner, it would hit me like clockwork and it was so painful, it was like a sharp pain to my stomach. So when I finally talked to my naturopath, I told her about these weird gas pains that I was feeling and it wasn't coming from any particular food that I was eating. I was trying to eat smaller meals throughout the day to ease digestion and all of these things. And she asked me, are you taking a prebiotic, probiotic supplement? And I told her that I was, but I stopped taking it a week before this appointment because I wasn't sure if I could take it. And she told me, well, you should start taking it again because 
Pregnancy hormones have a huge effect on our gut health and sometimes cause an imbalance of gut bacteria, which was what was happening to me, which was why I was experiencing those excruciating gas pains. So as soon as she gave me the go ahead to start taking this again, it was like a day and night transformation, the most insane thing I've ever experienced. So if I wasn't a huge believer of seed before getting pregnant, I definitely am now and I don't go anywhere without it anymore. When I went to Miami the second time this winter, I was pregnant and I took my travel size seed tube with me with just enough to hold me over for the trip and it literally saved me for that trip. So for those of you who don't know what seed is, it's a daily symbiotic, it's a prebiotic and probiotic in one. This doesn't need to be refrigerated. I take this first thing in the morning on an empty stomach before food. So it's super easy to take. And then after breakfast, I'll take my first round of supplements that I just shared with you. And then after lunch, I'll take my second round of supplements that I just shared with you. The reason why seed works and is so different from anything else that's out there is the way that the capsule is designed. It has an inner capsule and outer capsule and a protective coating that protects the capsule from the digestive enzymes in your stomach. So it's able to get all the way through your digestive system to make sure that it works optimally. And your digestive system is connected to so many other systems in your body that are important for your overall health, such as your cardiovascular health, your dermatological health. I also love that the welcome kit for seed includes this little jar here, which you can refill with their refill system. It also comes with a glass tube that's perfect for traveling. You can just throw it in your carry-on or bag or whatever and it's a great way to take your seed on the go. I also have a 15% off discount code with seed if you were interested in checking it out. My code is just NikkiSky15 and I'll leave all of that information on the screen here as well as in my description box down below. I swear by this stuff and I'm telling you it has changed my life during pregnancy and I will probably never ever again and stop using this. And it's one of those things that I would recommend to everyone. So as I mentioned, first trimester was rough for me. I was feeling so tired, so depleted, and just so nauseous, like all day, every single day, nonstop. It was awful. But I noticed that one of the only things that would help with the nausea, forget the ginger candies and the ginger tea, was actually moving my body on a daily basis. And this actually really helped me with my first pregnancy as well. It helped me get through the first trimester sickness phase. In the other trimesters, it also helped my body kind of get adjusted to all of the rapid changes that were happening. In pregnancy, there's so many things that are going on. You have ligament pain from all of the stretching going on in your belly. You have your hip bones shifting to accommodate baby coming out. Like there are so many things things that happen that are just mind boggling. So I noticed that when I move my body on a daily basis, and for me, I just like to go on daily walks. That's kind of my therapy. I feel so much more, I don't want to say lubricated, but I feel like my joints and my muscles and like everything just moves a lot easier. I'm a lot less stiff. If I skip a day of walking, I instantly feel so much more like tense and not as fluid. It's a really hard thing to explain unless like you've actually went through pregnancy and experienced it for yourself. But I always feel the moment my body starts to feel like it's tightening up, I know that I have to move my body, either go for a walk or do some kind of strength training. And that always makes me feel better. Speaking of strength training, I think that's also so, so important to not only help support a healthy pregnancy, but also prepare your body for labor and postpartum. Your body not only goes through so much during pregnancy, but during labor, whew, let me tell you, I had a natural labor with my daughter without epidural, without any medication or drugs or anything like that. And it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. And thank God that I was super active throughout my entire pregnancy. And I was doing strength training and just continuing to support my body in any way that I could. Because if I didn't do that, I really don't know how I would have handled that labor. It was really 
really, really tough. And postpartum, your body goes through so many changes yet again, adjusting to no longer growing a baby inside and slowly going back to normal. And I really think that because I was super active throughout my entire pregnancy, that I was able to kind of bounce back much faster. I really don't like using the term because I feel like every woman is different, every body is different, and everyone kind of goes back to their own normal at their own pace. And some people don't ever go back to their normal. To be honest, I don't even think there is such thing as a normal. You never really go back to what you were and what your body was pre-pregnancy. So many things move and change that it's impossible to be the exact same person you were before. So I just focus on ensuring that my body was nourished so that I can nourish my baby. And I was really patient with myself and only did as much physical activity as I felt like I could handle. And I think when you take care of yourself in that way from the perspective of love and not force these things on yourself, your body has its way of kind of naturally going back to to what it feels most comfortable at. So some of the strength training that I've really been enjoying is kind of like relaxing, slow pace, like Pilates. I really love the Pilates class. And you know I've mentioned Melissa Wood so many times on my channel before. I also work out with my mom. Sometimes my mom is a certified personal trainer. She's actually certified in pre and postnatal, which is like a blessing for me because I get so much help from her, so much useful information from her. I actually filmed a video with her when I was pregnant with my daughter. We did a prenatal workout on my channel, which you guys really, really loved. So let me know if you would like me to bring her on again and do a new workout for you guys. I think that would be a lot of fun. And she really enjoyed it as well. And again, she's just been amazing in helping me throughout this pregnancy and also my pregnancy with my daughter. And I think it's something Thing that I would love to share with as many people as I could because she is literally like a wealth of knowledge when it comes to this topic. So the strength training I have been trying to do a couple times a week. Realistically, I probably do it like two times a week because again, like I still don't feel like I got my energy back and hopefully when I'm gonna be feeling better and more energetic, I can move, bump that up to three times a week because I think strength training is so, so, so important, especially during pregnancy. So hopefully that's something that I can integrate into my lifestyle a little bit more. Something that I think is so important during pregnancy is nutrition. For me, first trimester is always really, really difficult because I have really strong food aversions and morning sickness, morning sickness that lasts all day long. So it was really hard for me to stomach most things unless they were like fried or super crunchy and crispy and most of the time, those things are not very nutritious but I always always eat a lot of fruits and veggies a lot of fresh fruit another thing that is super super important is healthy unsaturated fats I eat avocados like every single day olives almost every single day I use a lot of really good pure oils when I'm cooking when I am making a salad avocado oil coconut oil extra virgin olive oil all of these oils are so so important for supporting a healthy pregnancy Protein is also very, very important. Lean protein that is hormone-free, antibiotic-free, and raised in the best environment possible. We always get organic free-run eggs. We always get organic grass-fed chicken. If you're gonna be eating seafood, also check your sources and be careful that you are consuming seafood that is low in mercury, such as salmon, shrimps, crab and of course make sure that all of the seafood is cooked that's super super important as well and water water is so 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 important especially during pregnancy i feel like during pregnancy and especially when i'm breastfeeding i'm so thirsty all the time it's so important to stay hydrated during pregnancy i probably drink about four liters of water a day which doesn't include my fruits and vegetables which also 
contain a lot of water. I feel like if I don't get my four liters of water a day, I definitely feel tired and dehydrated. So I always try to make sure that I drink at least that much. And when I'm breastfeeding, I can drink like five to six liters of water a day. And that's not an exaggeration. So you really need to listen to your body and what it means. And if you need to be drinking more water, even if it means you're running to the washroom every five minutes, you have to do that because at the end of the day, if you're feeling well, it's gonna make your pregnancy go a lot, a lot easier. And finally, sleep. Sleep for me, especially during this pregnancy, has been so, 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 so important because like I've said, I've been feeling so much more tired all the time with this pregnancy. I still don't feel like I got 100% of my energy back. So I usually try to be in bed by like 9, 9.30 and I'm passed out asleep usually by 10 p.m. I feel like for me, it's so, so important, especially with a toddler. I really need to make sure that I'm well rested so I can feel my best throughout the day, take care of my daughter and just feel my best self. So if you feel like you are depleted when it comes to your energy, trust me when I say just listen to your body and do what you feel you need in that moment. If you feel like you need to go to bed at nine or eight or whatever it is, do that. Because at the end of the day, nothing is more important than taking care of yourself during this time. And it really makes all the difference in the world. All right, you guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you found it helpful and found some helpful information that you can apply to your own situation, whatever that may be, whether you are pregnant or trying to conceive. I always want to create videos that are going to inspire you and help you. And this is a really, really exciting time for me because it gives me another opportunity to share the things that have been working for me. And hopefully some of these things will work for you too. If you have any questions for me or any special requests for videos that you like to see on this channel, let me know in the comments below. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.